Good morning guys, another beautiful day here in Tennessee. Uh, we got two plants to hit today before we start heading home. And then we got a long ass drive home. Probably gonna have to stop overnight somewhere. Take a, and sleep. I don't think I can uh, do all this in one day. Uh, but we're gonna go hit the uh, plants. First plant I'm gonna hit is Spring Hill, Tennessee, the General Motors plant. And then after that, as I mentioned before, we got a Magneti Morelli which is down in uh, Pulaski, Tennessee. So we're gonna head to the General Motors now, take a look at the machine, see how things are going, chat a little bit with the people, just to let them know we're here for them, you know, the normal stuff, and then uh, head down to Magneti Morelli. Once we finish up there, uh, we got about a, uh, I think it was seven hour drive to Columbus. That's where I'm staying overnight. Gonna go to the zoo tomorrow with the family and then uh, we'll be home tomorrow evening. So let's get it. Pulaski is about an hour south, so actually that adds on an hour south, then an hour back, plus the seven hours to Columbus. So it's gonna be like uh, 10 hours of driving a day, plus a couple hours in each of the facilities. So let's do it. Work, work, work. Just made it to the Spring Hill General Motors plant. So I'm gonna go into the visitor center here Online it says that the visitor center doesn't open until uh, 8 a.m. It's about 7, 10. So I'm hoping that's not true and I can get in here because I'm really wanting to get in here, get out of here and get down to Pulaski so I can, uh, you know, get heading home. So, but I guess it is what it is. Fingers crossed that they're open. Get back here, look at this baler, make sure everything's running right. And then we'll get out of here. All right guys, so uh, not some good news. Some not so good news. Got to the uh, General Motors Spring Hill plant. I've been in there for about an hour now and have not gained access. My uh, contact here was supposed to submit a badge request for me to be able to get in, but uh, he's not done that, so can't get in. Um, so tried calling him, but it's going straight to voicemail and uh, not getting a call back. Like I said, I've been waiting like an hour. And uh, I still got to be in Pulaski today. I'm supposed to meet them at a certain time. So I think uh, we might have to call this one a bus and just mark it as, uh, you know, no entry granted or something. I don't know. Not much I can do. Uh, probably going to wait around here in the car for a little bit longer. Maybe another half an hour to an hour tops thought maybe once I get in here I'll uh, call the wife real quick and just say good morning and stuff give it a little more time um, I mean like I said I've already been waiting for about an hour and I'm getting no response from the gentleman uh, about the most I could wait again would probably be about another hour uh, because at that point I really need to just uh, get down to the other plant because like I said it's like an hour south and then I'm gonna be there a couple hours and then an hour back north to then head home, or uh, we'll at least start heading home, which is like a six, seven hour drive today. So, not off to a good start. I talked to him last week, like Wednesday or Thursday last week, confirmed with him, everything was good. Told me to send him an email and he'd get me access in for today, but I don't know, maybe he forgot, maybe something happened, but like I said, unfortunately, I've not been able to reach him. So, kinda, kinda stuck. So, like I said, gonna try to call the wife, maybe say good morning and stuff to her, and then uh, we'll go from there. Maybe he'll give me a call while I'm chatting with her. All right, let's uh, get this thing. It's kind of the worst day for this to happen, but last day of the trip, and I don't really have any more time to just be sitting around, but I guess it is what it is. I'm a little irritated, as I'm sure you could tell. Only because I set this stuff up, and this is why I call these people in advance to let them know I'm coming. So that we don't run into problems like this. You had one job, one job. Make sure I had a badge to get in. Nah, like I said, he could have forgot. I mean, things happen. All right, let's call the wife. We finally got a hold of the guy at the General Motors Spring Hill, Tennessee. And apparently they have a semi down production week meaning that part of their production is down this week. And a lot of the big wigs at GM, the actual GM side of the General Motors there, uh, a lot of them are not in, so no one approved the request for me to come in today. 
Uh, so what we're doing is I'm heading down to the Pulaski, Tennessee plant now. It's about a 50 minute drive from the uh, General Motors there in Spring Hill. I talked with Steven there, who's my contact, and uh, he said it was good to come down now. So head down there, probably spend an hour or two there, and then when we start heading back home, up towards Ohio, we gotta go back through Spring Hill anyways. Uh, so we might call back in on the way back and see if by chance uh, anyone was able to approve the request. Uh, if not, we'll just have to hit the site the next time we come through or something. But, uh, you know, I'd like to at least still try to hit it while we're uh, in the area. So so right now, heading down to the Pulaski, Tennessee, Magnetti Morelli plant. Uh, Going to just do, you know, look over there, see how things are going for them, see if they need anything. And then uh, I'll let you guys know what we got going on after that. All right, let's go. We just made it to uh, Magnetti Morelli here in Pulaski, Tennessee. So... About to head in here, like I said, check out this machine and stuff. And uh, make sure everything's working well on it. And then uh, we're gonna get out of here and head back up towards Spring Hill. See if they got me approved to get inside this General Motors yet. And then uh, go from there. So let's get in here and find out what's going on. We're all finished up at Magneti Morelli. So things are looking good. They had a couple little issues and stuff. So we're gonna have to send off an email. Probably tomorrow when I'm home and stuff. Uh, just to my bosses and stuff, just let them know. They had a couple questions, a couple other things that we got to address here. So not too bad overall. Heading back to uh, Ohio now. Spring Hill, not heading back there. All right, guys, we just uh, stopped at a rest area. We got about an hour and a half left till we're in Columbus. Uh, had to stop once to get gas. Didn't film anything because uh, we were just there filling up literally and left. But uh, almost to the family, so I'm excited to see them again. It's been a week and like three days since I've seen them, so almost there. All right, guys, made it to Columbus, Ohio. We just got to the Hampton Inn, got checked in, so getting all my bags and everything, and now we're heading up to the room. The wife is uh, about 30 minutes away, so I'm gonna get my stuff up in there, and then she's gonna text me when she gets here and uh, help her bring all the stuff up and the baby and stuff. So, like I said, it has been like a full week of traveling and stuff. And uh, I'm super excited to see the family. I miss them very much, so I can't wait. So let me get all this stuff up in the room, and then uh, as the wife gets here, we'll check back in. I think tonight's plans is just to go get some dinner and then uh, swim in the pool a little bit. And then we're going to get up nice and early tomorrow and hit the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. All right, let me get all this stuff in the room real quick. All right, guys, we just got everything uh, to the room, everything out of my car. Just talked to the wife and uh, she's like five minutes away, she said. So we're gonna head down to the lobby and uh, help her bring up all the stuff and the baby and everything. So, so excited to see them. Yes! <sighs> it's crazy how much you can miss people. This camera changing the light in. Whoa. All right, let's go. They're here, guys. There's the beautiful wife standing by the car. There's the beautiful daughter. Hey, baby. Oh, I missed you. Oh. See, I told you I look how pretty today. The family's here, guys. Finally reunited. Bubby's still in the car. We got to get him out. But I think we're going to get everything up to the hotel, and then we got to eat. I am starving. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since breakfast. <laughs> Dude, why is your gum on the side of the car? Because I meant to throw it out in the, in the most of the Oh my goodness. Alright, let's get this stuff up to the hotel. Alright guys, we got everything taken up to the hotel, so now we're going to uh, get Skyline Chili. It's a local chain down in southern Ohio into Kentucky and stuff. It's uh, like spaghetti noodles with chili and stuff on it and cheese and crackers. We don't have one around us up north in Ohio. So uh, we're gonna, since we're here, and uh, it's not something we normally get to eat at, we're gonna hit it up and try it out. So I've never been to one, I don't think, or it's been a very, I think I have been to one, but it's been like, I mean like 10 to 15 years ago. So I'm excited to try it out. The wife's driving, cause uh, we forgot I don't have a booster seat in my car. Skyline Chili, we made it. What do you think, Albine? You ready to try Skyline Chili? Thank you. You ready, baby? Me too. I'm starving. All right, let's go get this. The cracker is Pac-Man. It looks like a clam. No, it looks like Pac-Man. Oh yeah, it does kind of look like Pac-Man too, but it also kind of looks like a clam or an oyster. They are oyster crackers. 
Yeah. All right, Ellie, what do you think of Skyline Chili? No. Eh? Yeah. Huh. I don't know why. This is the spaghetti that's coming out of the cheese. It doesn't have... Are you kidding me? There's all kinds of cheese on that. All right, well, my conies are really good, hot dog. I haven't tried the chili yet, but we'll report. But so far, my hot dog, excellent. We just finished the Skyline Chili. We're heading back to the uh, hotel to do some swimming with this little brat. Hey, I'm not a brat. Oh, okay, stop, don't punch me, I ate too much. Uh, very, very good. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've uh, ate at a Skyline Chili. Years and years, but it was uh, delicious. So, like I said, heading back to the hotel, we're gonna do some swimming and stuff and just hang out since we all missed each other so much. And Ellie's gonna be a little weirdo because that's why we love her. Are you ready to go swimming? Oh man, I'm gonna have to let my belly settle down one. I ate way too much. All right guys, Ellie's already in a pool. She can't wait more than three seconds once we're down here. So, we're getting ready to get in. I'd jump in and do a cannonball, but this is not the GoPro, so we aren't doing that. But uh, finishing out the day with some swimming, and then we're just gonna head up to the hotel, get a uh, good night's sleep, and then uh, we'll be back in the morning for the zoo. So uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Appreciate it. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, do that by hitting the red subscribe button below. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. Peace out, everybody.